Welcome back, tightwads. I'm going to see if I can use a household remedy to cure a problem that I have. These are the pliers that I keep in my tackle box. I don't fish often, but when I do, it's nice to have a pair of pliers in case the hook gets lodged in the fish in a place that's not easy to remove. And you can see they're super rusty, uh, both sides. It just makes them hard to open with one hand while you're holding a fish in the other. So I'm going to try today distilled white vinegar in a cup and just soak the tools in it and see what happens. According to what I've read, this will kind of gum up the rust and then you just scrape it off or rub it off. I also have some steel wool I might try to rub it off with, uh, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to pour the vinegar into the cup and then let it, the pliers sit in there for 24 hours. So all I need to do is pour enough to cover the head of the pliers. We don't want to waste any. I'll close these down a little bit and need just a little bit more because there's a top of it sticking out. And I'm going to let them sit and see what happens. All right, it's been 24 hours, and you can see that the water or the vinegar has turned murky. And you can see little particles of things on the bottom. So we're going to lift them out. I haven't done this yet at all, so I'm going to lift them out and see what it looks like. I can still see bubbles coming up. And you can see that a lot of the rust is simply gone. Um, I bet if I rubbed it with a toothbrush, the rest will come off as well. I can already tell they function better. I can open them up with just a couple of fingers. So it looks like this really does work. Just straight up vinegar mixed in to or put into a cup and drop the rusted tool inside. So let me get a toothbrush and we'll clean it up and see how they look. All right, so I grabbed a toothbrush to try to clean the rest of this off. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. And remember that this could be toxic. Anything that was in the rust or under the rust is gonna now be in the liquid. So don't use your toothbrush that you use from your bathroom. I think that goes without saying. Um, it's okay to use your spouse's toothbrush or sibling's toothbrush, but definitely don't use your own. And in case you don't get humor, I'm just kidding. Don't use a toothbrush that you will later put in your mouth. And I'm gonna dip these off, whoa. Lots of black stuff came off. So there could have been some kind of coating on these as well. As you see, the brush is turning really black. There could have been some kind of protective coating on these. So what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, oil them after I get them all cleaned up and I'll put them back in the fishing tackle box and we will be good to go the next time we go fishing. So I'm really impressed at how well this worked um, there's still some rust in areas that I'm not going to scrub them super well because they're a super cheap pair of pliers anyway. Like around the teeth, there's still some rust in there. Not a big deal because, again, all I'm using them for is fishing. I'll get out what I can and rinse them off with a water hose and throw them back in the tackle box after I get them dried and oiled up. So it does work straight uh, vinegar with metal tools that are covered in rust about 24 hours. Definitely works. It could be less, but I, ch I checked about 24 hours and they are good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more repair and upgrade videos. If you want to watch one of the videos shown on the screen now, just click them and it'll take you straight to it. I hope you guys have a great day.